Welcome to a world of might and magic, where the only limit is your imagination. Come along with us and find out what happens when you just roll. We started, of course, trying to figure out where the staff is, and I was really fixated with the huge pillar in the center. Oh, we did all sorts of stuff. We moved the throne, we took the skeleton off, tried to sit on the throne, tried to talk to the skeleton, which was the Monkey King, and he was pissed off that we called him. We asked a few questions. Uh, we didn't discover much. But what we did discover is that uh, there's a goddess called Guianin that has a fan that matches with the last weapon of the prophecy. Hmm. After that, we tried to... Like, the pillar was covered in... What's the name again? Grimace? Uh, Soot. Soot, yes. Uh, suit, so we tried to carve that out, and in the middle was golden, like pure gold. So we, uh, <laughs> I used prestidigitation to clean the whole base off, and yep, pu pure gold with but n no in carving is nothing. So, in the lack of things to do, we transformed Spoon into a giant ape to try to knock the fucking thing over. Oh. It did not work, but the punching with the suits did uh, clean the rest of the pillar. Which was the <laughs> giant staff. Oh. So now we had a gigantic staff that we did not know how to get rid of. We were searching for words and stuff, and while I was speaking to Woods, suddenly it got smaller. And smaller. And, and smaller. smaller. Every time he said the word smaller. And it took him so many times to figure out what was happening. <laughs> so I just screamed the, the small to the size of a halfling and it dropped on top of my head. Ah. And now I have a st the staff as a hairpin. And I'm still a giant monkey? Yeah, because the yeah, session I... ended, like, right after that. <laughs> I... Oh, okay, makes sense. <laughs> we spent two hours doing that. Uh, D&D, folks. I do play a wizard, but in the brain department... But yeah, we find ourselves still in this very, very warm chamber, having just claimed the, uh... That sequence of events. <laughs> we find ourselves in this, uh, chamber, now possessing the Rui Jingu Bang. And, uh... Yeah, we still got a giant spoon monkey, a very injured party... And uh, Dragon currently having a uh, existential crisis. True. <laughs> oh, I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, Paige kind of gave the Dragon an existential crisis. Oh, no, I can't hear anything. <laughs> uh, we'll give that a minute then. Uh, Imagine the dragon's going to spend three weeks down here without moving. Uh, like, what the fuck do I do? Oh my god, they left? I don't know why my audio just cut out randomly. That is weird. But yeah, Paige managed to talk the Draco, which into an existential crisis. Oh, good. <laughs> That's exactly what we wanted. Because its whole existence was to protect the staff and lead, pe lead the right people to it. Now that we have the staff, what the fuck's it supposed to do with its life? Yeah, that's true. He's gotta, he's gotta think about that, not us. <laughs> yeah, it's his problem. Alright. 
so you finally got the uh, Rijingu Bang. First of the godly armaments. This name is so weird. <laughs> well, sorry, it's in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> And how can you say it so smoothly? Because I watch a lot of the Monkey King movies. Ah, I see. It's interesting lore. And I'm saving that. Is that the same monkey that took a piss in Buddha's hand? Yep. Perfect. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I'm definitely going to watch these movies. There's like a hundred of them. I think there's even a series on Netflix now. It's like three seasons That's deep. You misunderstand my motivation. <laughs> I am Back definitely going to watch the, the universe ones. The guy's crazy. Oh, shit. Jesus. <laughs> I raised my hand just perfectly and managed to flip my fucking phone. Whoops. Ugh. Fuck sake. Well, someone, well, well, someone's gotta do something about this this giant monkey. <laughs> you just hear giant ape spoon just making gorilla noises frantically. Before turning spoon back, don't you think it would be easier to climb in that format? In that form, I mean. <laughs> Keep in mind the walls were smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I might be able to like dig my hands into the walls, but I don't want to play that. I don't want to risk that. Yeah, and what, happen what happens if I turn back? Yeah, you, up? you turn back, and then suddenly the rest of us being displaced by your change in size are now falling. Yeah, that, that would be that yeah, would be bad. Snap well, the fingers if... to, uh, to drop concentration. All right. So now I have regular size spoon back. Yeah. Oh no! Right. Appears I made a mistake. It, it, it keeps the same appearance. What? <laughs> I get, what the fuck? I thought we were friends. We are, that's why I'm saying that. I'm gonna kick your ass. That's what I'm gonna do. Ah, this feels much better. I think we're done we're like done here, right? We got the staff. I don't mean to alarm anybody, but does anyone else hear that rumbling? Uh, uh, no. Do we? <laughs> yeah, do we? <laughs> Roll perception check. Oh, son of a bitch. Perception? Do I even have a bonus to that? I know. Uh, it can't be no. Because it's dead. Oh, I run with advantage by mistake. That would mean nothing. Uh, perception. What is that? God damn. I get? 16. I get Oh, 16. For a guy who can't roll very well on perception checks, that's pretty good. So, uh, you're starting to put two and two together on uh, the events that have occurred here. This is a big, wide cavern, and the only support column is now missing. Oh, we, yeah, we just ripped a support pillar out of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, we need to go, like, now. Like, now, now, now. We need to fucking get the fuck out of here. Just fucking, just, just start, I just bolt, just fucking hop over that. I'm gone. <laughs> uh, well, some of us have short legs and the inability to jump chasms. Okay, well, then some of you can get on my back. Krell can, Krell can get on my back. Definitely. And Woots can probably carry Paige. I would hope so. Right? Woots, that, yeah. That was the plan on the way up down here anyway. 
Woods, do you like eagles? Yeah, Woods has lived underground his whole life. He's never seen anything avian variety. No, I've been underground or whatever this... Uh, yeah, Nevermore is underground, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've never seen an eagle. Unless there's weird birds, but I don't think they're eagles. Oh. Uh, about the... Well, we are about to become an eagle for a short while since we need to get out of this hole. I'm gonna sprint up a wall. <laughs> but yeah, just... Pieces of the roof are beginning to fall down, crashing into the ground below, splashing up the magma, churning below. And we better be fast. We don't turn here outside the cave. Yeah, get Krell up on my back, and we are gone. Hop over this shit, we are out here. Alright, I'm gonna need deck saves for people carrying people. Fourteen. Boots. <laughs> yeah, come on, roll, damn it. Did it roll for you guys? It did not. Mm. Oh, no, no, no. No. oh, that was acrobatics, not dexterity save. Oh, I misheard. <laughs> I, okay, I'm rolling this one. Hopefully my internet works with me here. Damn it, come on. I clicked you, damn it. Yeah, sometimes Roll20 should be like that. And now I'm getting fucking spammed on Discord. Leave me alone! Okay, well, so worked. I just rolled a 20, so plus 9s. Oh, now you're th coming through. What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? Ooh. Got Tuesday and Wednesday out of school. Let's go. But, uh, yeah, natural 28 definitely succeeds. Spoon has fallen a bit behind. He's yeah, all he's types of worn out from all the exercise he's gotten today. All the so, stab wounds. <laughs> all the sprinting down walls and all the, uh, long jumps and fighting things. You're pretty worn out for the day. I'll be, I'll find I can so, you're, you're trailing behind the much more nimble woods, but you do manage to get, uh, you do well, get I don't know, it's only a matter of time before I catch up. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll use my second wind before I get my second wind. You want to try refreshing roll 20. Huh. Six. Plus my fire level. What? Six as well? Seven. That's what you get. 13. Uh, 49. I'm feeling a little bit better. <laughs> and more able to run than before. <laughs> and you definitely get your second wind in, both figuratively and literally. As you're just cast making your way back to the uh, room we first entered in. Uh, now devoid of a great deal of the bones that were in it originally. Uh, as we pass through the dragon, I'm just going to shout, you're going to stay there and, or be, and be crushed or you're going to get out? I have not yet decided. I could still kill you in an instant. You get, you get, you you lose one thing in life, and then you think about giving up permanently. Whatever, dude. Well, you could add, or I could give you a job. That's the mindset of a loser. Oh. Just reach out. <laughs> Perhaps. Uh, we are leaving the city of Nevermore. Tell a man who has no concept of cities. I mean, he could learn. He has literally uh, forever. <laughs> it's a giant population of 
I think it'll probably be better to actually like carry Krell instead of carrying her on my back when I go up, because that's gonna be a different. That's gonna be a lot different. Yeah. She'd be like hanging off of my neck. <laughs> Uh, you know, like bridal carrier up the wall. Oh, it's so the same way you carried her down. I thought that was the plan. No, I thought she was just on my back when I carried her down. I don't really remember exactly how we described it. And I think it was piggybacking because you would have been facing down yeah. when you were running down. Is, I'm going to put her in a way that will not require her to pull me down or choke me. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, y'all are having a conversation with the Draco Witch while the, uh, whole cavern is collapsing. Yeah, uh, what's the name of the Lich again? The Draco Lich? Uh, the Draco Witch did not give a name. Yeah, but I can know it. <laughs> That's true. Uh, got he, he is not a Celestial, nor Inferno, nor a God. Alright. Uh, got the eye. Uh, Elbrecht. Well, no, hope you I figure have... out what to do with yourself, Albrecht. I think I gave you an actual name, but I cannot remember it for the life of me. Yeah, we'll just make up a new one on the spot and hope we don't remember it. Exactly. <laughs> we just... just Basically, Paige just said the name of the dragon and get... got the fuck out of there. <laughs> no, he introduced himself as Dragon King of Restless Bones. Okay, so cool. Yeah, but now I say his name. <laughs> yeah, now you have his name. Hopefully we gain a new ally, per se. I don't know if I want a Draco Lich as an ally. I feel like there's a bit of a moral issue there. I don't see why that. Why is that? I wonder. Listen, just because the stat block says they're all evil doesn't mean they are. I mean, look at humans and all the fucked up shit they've done, and they're still neutral. Yeah, we're just sprinting for the uh, shaft chamber here. As uh, the cavern is just collapsing into ruin. The tunnel behind us gets sealed off. Just a cloud of gas and debris just getting launched at our backsides. Yep, time to cast Spider Climb and just start sprinting up this wall. And I'm going to turn Woods into a giant eagle. Go, go, go! <laughs> um, just uh, it's honestly one of my favorite spells. You've used it a lot. It's always been effective. <laughs> exactly. It has always been effective. With Polymorph, you can gain the ability to fly and lots of others. You can make a tiny wizard a super strong ape. You can be a giant monkey. <laughs> and deal siege damage. Yeah. And deal siege damage. But yeah, Spoon's just sprinting across this room, headed straight for the wall he once walked down. It just. A big metal eagle just goes shrieking by him and straight up the shaft. Actually, before, I think, honestly, I would do, like, that eagle claw move where you, like, you know how they hook up prey? Yeah. Yeah, I think I would try to get Woods, or not Woods, a uh, Spoon and a uh, Krill and one of my, like, metal claws. Yeah, that's yeah, hard. I, I need to get the stat block for the eagle up. Oh, no. I'll just roll a 20, see if I can get you guys, and then you can add whatever stats it is. Like the end of the Hobbits? Yeah. I got six, I'm probably not gonna catch you guys. 
Fun oh, fact, no. the famous screech of an eagle is actually that, that of a falcon. I don't yes. know, giant eagles have Most people use, eagles. most companies use falcons instead of eagles, because eagles cry doesn't sound good. just lost track of where I was. You know, since this is an important stuff that could get them knocked down, I think that would be a fair use of inspiration. Uh, I suppose. I think he was still in Woods. Ow. I, I was. I, I was agreeing. I don't have an inspiration to use. Yeah, I do have an inspiration. I mean, Jeez. might as well use it. Oh, can I have a bandage because it's a surprise attack? <laughs> it's sure. A surprise attack. Huh. <laughs> I'm oh, surprised grabbing him. Only because you're a rogue. I'm gonna oh, allow that. Fuck. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> what the hell are the odds? Wow. That's, I that I'm gonna make sure my computer's not messing up. If it's a six again, we're gonna have. Okay, now it's it's goddamn dice. Okay. It's a little lower. Damn dice what, gods. What a, what a game! What a fun game we play. <laughs> oh, they're screwed. So hopefully they can dodge. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean the cavern's collapsing, not the not the tunnel. Right. Yeah. Because this yeah, is a fine. solid pillar. Out. There's nothing to collapse in. Yeah. Exactly. We're fine. So we're safe-ish in this area. But yeah. Safe-ish, because there's definitely something coming here from the noise. Wow, it's probably just... We tore out the only support pillar. Yeah, the noise was the roof of the cavern collapsing. There's too much space suddenly unsupported. That's how cavins happen. The more you know. <laughs> and if you don't learn at least one new thing in every D&D &D session, what are we even here for? Yeah, totally. I <laughs> couldn't agree with couldn't agree with it more. But yeah, we get to the walls, Spoon uses a spider staff to cast spider climb, and he just starts yeah. legging it up after the uh much, much faster giant eagle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn so many calories. <laughs> You're gonna need like three solid meals when we get back. What is the flight yeah. speed of the giant eagle? 80 feet. Holy <laughs> For what, a, 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 a pit that's like maybe a couple of hundred feet deep? Uh, yeah. There you go. You're gonna be out just uh you could be out in under a minute. <laughs> the rest of us that are running. I mean if I'm spending my time dashing, that's like that's sixty feet per per six seconds. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not I'm not doing too bad. So if well, the I mean... eagle dashes you can cover up to hundred and sixty feet flying? Yeah. There you go. Well, if you take that and uh, <laughs> compound it down, it would be several minutes <laughs> between the giant eagle getting to the top and Spoon at full tilt for several hundred several hundred feet. It's fine. It's I'm fine. I'm fine. What's the worst that can happen? So you say that. Oh no. <laughs> until you until you ask me to roll like athletics. Well it's not you that's going to be rolling anything at the moment. How lovely. Keeping my pace strong. We're going up this wall. So is Krell like hanging up from Spoon's neck or like no, <laughs> or is he holding her like a teddy bear? Uh, she's being carried like the fucking queen she is. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, 
Oh, All right. Table here. <laughs> yeah, Spoon probably does not smell great at all. A combination of the suck, the monkey smell, just general body odor. Not to mention all the undead we've been dealing with today. Yeah. And then you dive through the stomach too. Oh yeah, you went through the giant ape corpse. Oh, I sure did. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. I guess it's a that good thing that Krell's scent isn't really great. That would suck. It sure would. But, uh, yeah, the giant eagle with Paige on its back and Quill shortly following, uh, rapidly ascend their way to the top. And this is what they say. Uh-oh. <laughs> About a dozen tents camped out. And, uh... Yeah, these definitely weren't here when you went in here several hours ago. Oh, no! <laughs> Once you hit a tourist place, everyone else comes. They just don't come early. Yeah, that's what happens. If they're tourists, that's all. <laughs> Uh, you still got a good uh, I, amount of time left on that polymorph, too. Because you tore out of there so quickly. Only took uh, less than a minute, actually. Uh, I'm going to keep the polymorph for now. And uh, Is the tents full of people or are they totally quiet? Uh, at the moment, you're traveling too quickly to uh, really react. Oh, uh, okay. Well, we just made it out of the hole, right? Yeah. And we just like flew up several feet. Okay, I think of uh, Woods as a a giant bird would be like kind of you know how yeah, something okay. flies up. I don't know how high the ceiling is, but like you know, just like and spread the wings out so they're like gliding there for a moment yeah, and just like enjoying being a bird. Yeah, yeah. So they're able to look down. So they got a bird's view <laughs> of everything looking down. So we're gonna chill up here for a few seconds. All right. Uh, taking a moment with your enhanced eagle vision, you uh, glance down and you see someone looking back up at you through a monocular. Uh oh. Uh, they appear to be pointing in your general direction and shouting things to nearby people. Oh, I bet. I'm a giant metallic bird breathing. Oh, I see them get yeah. some of my uh, <laughs> black smoke in there, too, so. <laughs> yeah, you are quite I'm the sight to behold right now. <laughs> oh, God, another fight waiting for us? I'm not, I'm not prepared. I don't have anything. Like we don't this know this That's fight's coming. I know we don't know. <laughs> That's the problem. I think it's not the solution to everything. We could just <laughs> talk to them. Oh, yeah. Do you want to talk to them? Uh, you can talk to them and let me know how that goes. Uh, Paige will probably just go to whatever uh, giant eagles here is, and we should probably go one spoon and crawl. I do that, but. Uh, or bird noise. Key! <laughs> But yeah, quickly uh you start to see several other individuals gathering about. Before we dive into the hole again, can I see like at least their appearance? They have new uniforms or something? Uh, they appear to have uh, simple armor. Uh, faces are all covered. 
mm. seem to be wielding a myriad of both short and long ranged weaponry. <laughs> We have a lot of enemies. <laughs> All of them. Some of them we pissed off more than others. <laughs> True. I say we have too many enemies. <laughs> well, luckily, these ones all decided to kind of gather in a group, so, uh... Raining fire on them from above is not... not, not a choice. <laughs> it is a choice. That's what I meant to so. say. You, you knew what I meant. It is not not a choice. Between me being able to pour out like a gallon of oil and uh, Paige's ability to make fire, I think we're in pretty good straits. So uh, you about miss that. Those in my you <laughs> miss. I have two spell slots capable of making fire. And they're you both fifth level. Do capable of making fire? <laughs> I do have the cantrips, but... Exactly. You don't need spell slots. You've got cantrips. Yeah, but the cantrips don't do as much as a pair of fifth level fireballs. Hey. Sometimes you just gotta work with what you have. Well, he's got two fifth level fireballs. Oh, true. <laughs> and, and those would cover a lot more range. Nope, same range, just more damage. No, I mean, like, they cover more range than a fireball would. Yeah. Alright, so we've got the giant metal smoky eagle suspended in midair, page on its back, trying to talk to it, not getting a response that he can understand. I should probably just cast message to communicate with Woods. I mean, Woods can understand you, just can't communicate back. Yeah. Yeah, but... Yeah, fine. <laughs> <clears throat> I will assume she understood the, the message when she just dives back into the hole. Yeah, I'd be like, go up and then do like a loop and come back down, like... So yeah, <laughs> we have no frame of reference for everything that just had happened because we can't see. Yeah, we are just running up this hole. Can you imagine this scene, you are just looking at that giant hole and the, there comes a man on, walking on vertical, <laughs> running. <laughs> Like, it just right. went out of America. Right. Perfectly in parallel with the wall. Yeah. <laughs> with the goblins. Goodbye, Jojo. <laughs> but yeah, a few, uh... A few moments pass as Spoon is sprinting up the wall before the giant eagle, which I don't think has dark vision. I know. Oh no, but I have advantage on my I'm looking at the stats. I think I have advantage on um Yeah, you do have advantage on perception checks that rely on sight, but if you can't see in the dark, it doesn't really help. Well does my dark vision spell still work or no? Uh, it uh, does. You can keep concentration on I can't I can only see like not that far, but yeah. I know the goggles don't deal, but I still have to yeah. cast a dark vision on myself. How long does it last? Oh, that's a good eight hours. Oh, really? Oh, Damn. Damn. And you just can't continue. You just can't cast the spell afterwards. It's a really spawn. Yeah. So yeah, your eagle form has dark vision. Let's go. Yep. And you use the eight carrots to <laughs> make dark vision. Yeah. <laughs> Never really realized that carrot makes you see better in the dark in D and D. Like all the all the material components usually have something to do with the spell you're actually casting. It's great that they thought like that. I'll be damned. Uh, 
when yeah. it came out and said, yeah, carrots are good for your eyesight. Stupid. <laughs> but, uh, since you don't have your intrinsic dark vision, your range is cut to 60 feet. Yeah. Oh, whatever. They'll, they'll see us eventually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, only a few moments pass before they return. They are traveling significantly faster than Spoon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so they'll, they'll see us. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're back? Just Boom! <laughs> You know what? Oh, Fuck this shit. Instead of just screaming through the gigantic amounts of wind, I just go to cast message. Uh -huh. How many words can I say? How are you going to know oh. when you're within 120 feet of him? Well, no, when you gotta know. Just by him. <laughs> Do you want to make a save or something? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, how is Paige going to know when he's within 120 feet of Spoon? It doesn't say there's any limit on how many words you can say. Okay, uh... Yeah. When I'm gonna be podcasting it all the way down. <laughs> I mean, the moment, uh... The moment Wood's ego at the moment stops somewhere, I'm gonna assume Spoon is there. And I can probably hear the... <laughs> of a giant man panting. Yeah, you can also probably hear my armor fucking clinking against <laughs> the wall. <laughs> Well, usually the bottom of uh, armored shoes aren't also armored. Sure, but what about the rest of the armor? You never saw bre breastplate, an, a person in breastplate walking? They make so much noise. At an angle that it's most... Yeah, about that disadvantage on stealth checks and heavy armor, just saying. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, I just cast. There's a bunch of people camp camped out outside. They look dangerous. Oh fuck. Okay. Are we in any fighting shape? I mean, I'm no. not. Uh, Krell's less than half health. Yeah, we should. Woots is currently so... an eagle with eagle health. Yeah. So, uh, solution. When I get up there, would you try and pick me up with your uh, your talons, and then we get the fuck out of here. Grab you now. Oh wait, ka! Screech. Uh, <laughs> or uh, that would work too, probably. <laughs> I don't know what you said, but it sounds like a good idea, and you should do it immediately. Cool. You just got two, I don't know, uh, wood steel metal uh, talons just grab you and frill and. Oh shit. <laughs> oh boy, these guys are. These guys are not playing games. Alright, I got them both. I'm shooting right up as fast as I can. Alright. <laughs> just scooping us up off the wall. Pretty much. <laughs> there is one thing I have to look at really quickly. Uh oh. oh I hope it's for our benefit. <laughs> Maybe. Uh oh. Never a good thing when you hear those words. Where's my phone? <laughs> Do you require the stats of a giant eagle? No, I'm looking I at the stats of a giant eagle. <laughs> Oh. I'm looking at uh, the conversion oh, rate of how much a giant eagle. eagle can carry. Yeah, you're gonna oh. Look the, uh, well, I got 16 strength. Yeah, you have good strength, so it's more than likely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, considering how much Spoon can carry, the giant eagle can probably do it. <laughs> Although I have a 20, so it's, it's a bit different. Strength the size of matters Multiply the score by 15? Yep. I see. Ooh. See, now that's a problem. 
Oh, is he too heavy? In total, a giant eagle can carry 240 pounds. I think Spoon uh, alone outweighs that. <laughs> it's fine. You can take Crow and I'll just keep running. They'll probably go after you guys. Yeah. The Spoon, with his all his gear, weighs almost 300 pounds. <laughs> Over 300 pounds. Yeah, the way I, I imagine they just, like, pick me up, I immediately kind of slip out because I'm too heavy. I'm like, well... <laughs> well, I guess I'm running. Fatso. So. It's all muscle, dickhead. <laughs> you wouldn't know about it because you don't work out. I don't need to. I have magic. What do you mean? He's a necromancer. They deadlift all the time. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> that was a good that one. That sucks. <laughs> the worst, that's the worst joke you've told so far. <laughs> that's the best one. <laughs> Alright, so Krell and Paige now on the back of uh, Woot's Eagle or. Headed in the reverse direction back out of the hole again. Spoon is yep. resigned to still running up the wall. Uh, knowing that something horrible is awaiting him. Maybe they'll chase after the eagle. That's my that's my thought process. And if not, I'm making a hell of a stand up here. I don't like what's happening. <laughs> I'm not gonna die. What, that I keep revealing like tokens? <laughs> that's a lot, that's a lot of tokens. That's only half of them. I don't know. Alright. I may have spoke too soon. <laughs> Why did you get closer to the microphone to say that? So it sounds more dire. To emphasize his point. I didn't move my microphone over the last week to not use it for dramatic effect. True. I might... Who might die here? I'm acknowledging that fact right now. <laughs> well, we're going to save Spoon. <laughs> but yeah, Eagle comes screaming out of the hole again, and uh... Now there's six guys with crossbows trained on the opening. And I need a stat block. Oh, for the eagle? Now for the people shooting oh. arrows at the eagle. Oh, well. Shit, with only 26 hit points, hopefully I'm able to make a crash landing, not in the hole. Oh, okay. If these boys could roll low at some point, that'd be amazing. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. Every they, all si hit they all hit. The giant eagle only has an AC of 13. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh bad. Can I, like, when I'm getting these. Oh, oh. That was the first yeah. one. <laughs> but you do get a DC 15 constitution save. Myself on the poison. As an eagle or as a... As an there? eagle. You don't change okay, back till you hit zero health as the eagle. Okay, um, I got a plus one to con, so let's see what happens. Oh, well, not 20. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, you you, so, you yeah. turn back on the first bolt. <laughs> uh, yeah, I believe so. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the first bolt fucking catches you right in that chest that you just feel the poison aren't you resistant to poison actually um oh wait you don't have your resistance not as an eagle, eagle but as a warforge yes so yeah you just catch that uh, arrow straight in your eagle chest surprised that it passed through the metallic skin and you begin to make oh no a... my metallic feathers didn't defend me <laughs> can you at least try to land on ground <laughs> I, if I can get there. 
Uh, I'll let you make a uh, dexterity save to try and get as close to the ground as possible before succumbing to your wound. As an eagle or as a person? <laughs> as an eagle. Okay. The eagle also has good dex. Yeah, it's... Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. We'll see, I've been rolling 20s like hell, so... Yeah! Oh, it's got a so range that's... of 60 feet. Okay. That's a 9 plus 7? 3. Or oh, it feels 9 like plus 3. 9 plus 3. Yeah, because my dex is just plus three, unless there's some stat I'm not seeing here. Can I give her my inspiration? <laughs> I have to cast it uh, yeah. twice. That is an option. I'm going to give Woods my inspiration. <laughs> oh. Okay. Come on, Where's something that? above a ten, damn it. You got it. I oh my god, it. change your dice color oh, immediately. no fucking way! <laughs> <laughs> change your, okay. Change that dice color immediately. <laughs> it's not a wrestling. That doesn't count. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use my inspiration to try to do this again. Then. <laughs> All right. Yes. Much fucking oh better. My god. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah. Crash I land. Was, I was, Eagle. I was ready to spend the other charges of web to save you guys. <laughs> the the uh. Boots is just absolutely trying to hold himself in eagle form as they're just careening towards the ground. Spoon still bolting up the cliff, just a few moments behind. As they eventually slam into the ground, the giant metal eagle fully reverting back into Woots. I am immediately ready to scrap. And, uh, the remainder of those crossbow bolts just go flying off into the darkness of the Underdark. As their target no longer exists. Where did you Quill? I did not bring Quill's token with us. But Quill was also flying, and being small wasn't as easy to target. Oh, thank God. But yeah, we find ourselves uh, pretty in a pretty fucked up situation right now. As a uh, a couple more. A couple more of the uh, esteemed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just had a idea. Show up. And that's when we notice a man dressed in full armored regalia, shining black and gold, kneeling, facing away from us. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. seems you were in fact hunted down by someone you know very well just a just a quick question can i can i pick which side of this hole i emerge out of well obviously you could move around in there if you knew the direction of the danger as you approached no i, I mean i just like yeah i, I mean just like in general like because i'm going to emerge somewhere yeah. So if I get to if I get to pick, I know exactly where. <laughs> well, assumably since you went straight up the left side wall, you would emerge over here naturally. It would take more time if you tried to circle okay. around. Yeah, this this would be fine if I come yeah. up on this side. Okay. <laughs> I, so, yeah. I, I'm reminded right now of that uh, last video by XP to level three. If we do that, it's going to be a little hard. So, <laughs> no, we have a little uh, hard situation. The idea was like to come out, grab a guy's ankle, and throw him into the pit, and put the attention on me. All and right. I could still very much do that once I get out of this hole. I imagine as you are like reaching the end of the hole, you could probably see the things around it. Yeah, yeah probably. probably. 
because there is more light up here. They've made camp. So yeah, there's probably torches lit. It. But uh, yeah, with the one, with this, the this week, yeah, you're just gonna have a bad day. <laughs> with the exception <laughs> of Spoon, everyone will get one action before Calamity. Yeah, this is so. Bad. Uh, choose wisely. Yes. I am going to straight up burn Krell's last third level spell slot. Oh, I'm the only person not getting an action before the combat. That, that's bad. That's bad news for me. Um. Okay. Uh, since Loki spoke about Mimir's, I can Page finally use the. The maximum power, the... You must certainly try. Let's test it out, shall we? <laughs> Alright, here we I go. Use... I have Can I use the maximum... I, ha I have a table Sorry. for it. <laughs> yep, oh, it, it says man. here on the description. Paige is yep. going to test out his new eye. <laughs> because, you know... Oh boy. Oh, that's oh. interesting. Oh. You rolled plane uh -oh. shift. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up here, and you guys are gonna be gone. <laughs> All right, so you and up to eight willing creatures who link hands in a circle are transported to a different plane of existence. You can specify a target designation in general terms such as the city of brass on the element the plane of fire or the palace of dispatter at the second level of the ninth hells and you appear in or near that destination if you're trying to reach the city of brass for example you might arrive in its street of steel before its gates of hash or looking at the city from across the sea of fire at the dm's discretion alternatively if you know the sigil sequence of a teleportation circle on another plane of existence the spell can take you directly to that circle can I roll? Can I roll like history to see what's the best place Paige could know to teleport us? I told you you got one action. <laughs> oh, history check would constitute another. Am but, I in uh, range of that, or am I still too low down in the pit? Uh, you'd have to be holding hands with Paige the instant he cast it. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, you can use this spell to banish an unwilling creature to another plane, choose a creature within your reach, and make a melee spell attack on it. On a hit, the creature must make a charisma saving throw. If the creature fails this save, it is teleported to a random location on the plane of existence you specify. A creature so transported must find its own way back to your current plane of existence. So you basically just so, cast, cast banishment on yeah. the... You can either teleport yourself to a different plane... Or teleport one of us within five feet of you to another play. <laughs> also, just one creature? You're not currently holding hands with either me or Woots. Otherwise, Bye. yeah. You and up to eight willing creatures who link hands in a circle. The spell is cast immediately. It's an instantaneous spell. So, you and up to eight willing creatures who are linked with hands in a circle can get teleported. Or you can grab onto one of us within five feet of you and teleport them. But the question is, are you going to use it to save yourself or to save Woots? <laughs> I don't even think well, age is a way back from this at the moment. <laughs> uh, Woots. Okay, uh, bye. <laughs> Actually, he does have banishment, doesn't he? So yeah, he could banish himself back to his original plane. True. Uh, and would I go back here? Um, remains to be seen. Okay, uh, for now... Uh, fuck, I don't know many places. Well, there are the elemental planes. There's the Nine Hells. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, let's go to a safe place in the Feywild. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Alright, so in an <laughs> instant So in an instant Paige is just fucking gone. And as soon as he unleashes power, you just see a flash of blue light. And Paige just fucks off out of a realm of existence. 
<laughs> we just lost our blaster mage. <laughs> Uh, Woods, do you have any key points left? Wait, I have two left. Get left behind. Yeah, you're gonna, you're probably gonna want to eat. Uh, everything that's on you goes to... with it. Okay, As so Quill idea, would... you probably uh, want to use those to step of the wind. Quill would probably get shunted either. back into its pocket dimension. Oh, okay. Um, you probably, I think you'll probably want to grab Krell and step of the wind out of here. What are the chances of rolling plane shift on the first time? Because I'm not, I'm not sure. One in ten. Without Paige, I'm not sure we could actually do this. As good at like melee combat that we are, we are so severely outnumbered. Interestingly yeah. enough, that was probably the worst thing you could have rolled. Yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And now I don't I don't know how to recharge the eye unless I discover a long forgotten HD ritual. Let's just put it this way. There were three ninth level spells on this table. Jeez. <sighs> and uh two of them are literally fucking apocalyptic oh, level and what is just like hey someone you pick is at full health now oh is fucking power word heal on there yeah power word heals on there i literally wrote the worst number ever <laughs> literally the worst possibility out of the 10 so, yeah the there. only person with an action left is is woot yeah, yeah um... curl cast Oh, okay, oh, so cast a healer, so it's use her bonus action. Yeah, but for the sake of this, it was one maneuver, not one action. Action. Oh man, I don't know what to do. I mean, first of all, I think I, I, I can imagine Woods like face think, down like scorpion because like the land. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I don't want to. I don't want to tell you what to do. It's your character, but. The I think for the best chance at survival is just getting out of here as fast as possible. Cause I don't think the three of us can take these guys. Well, I don't know who these guys are. I just see got, are they like all pointing weapons at us kind of thing or uh well the six I mean, that were around the edge were pointing crossbows at you and firing upon you. But as far as you know, that could have just been them attacking some strange unknown creature that just came out of a chasm that no one's supposed to be able to live in. Talking is a free action, so... You know. That it is. That is? Okay. You can get your point across in six seconds worth of talking. <laughs> go for it. You have to go to the bathroom while you guys decide this. Oh, I mean you're in a different plane. Have at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I gotta wrap my brain around that. Oh man. I know what I need to do. See, I have an idea. I just have to roll pretty fucking high in the uh initiative. Luckily these guys don't have great deck scores. What am I doing? Okay. There's so many people around. I don't know who these guys are. I don't know what about their en or your guys' enemies. What would Woods do? Oh man, he wouldn't want to get caught in this shit because he doesn't know it. Um. I am going to. Krill has blind sight, right? Krell, yes. Okay. 20 feet of it, to be specific. 20 feet? Okay. Well, I don't want to leave her alone, so... I'm gonna spend my last two key points, I think I need two, to use my shadow arts to cast, uh, Thing of darkness on my dagger. 
Cast what now? I can cast darkness. Ooh. Yeah, so I have it. I just like I, you can cast it on an object. So I'm going to use one of my uh, daggers or my little yeah. darts. So get it. Yeah, with you some can cast it on an object that is a being held or worn. I uh, emanates from that object and moves with it. All right. All right, so a uh, giant cloud of darkness begins spewing out of your dagger. Covering a 15-foot uh, a radius. Yeah, it's not much, but it gives us some cover, so we're not completely... Yeah, it gives us... Uh... And... Come on. Oh, man. I can't see in magical darkness, so I'm guessing Krill, Krill's gonna be slightly in my side of her. That's like my action, that's all I can do in this moment. And that lasts for up to 10 minutes. Until I lose concentration. <laughs> all right. Get the initiative tracker up here. And both, due to the uh, impending darkness here, both Woots and Krell will be rolling initiative at advantage. Hell yeah! Uh, first at the table. Oh, it would probably help if I actually fucking selected my goddamn token. I mean, I know there are guys waiting up here, so oh, I assume much I get to roll the new initiative. Uh, yes. Unfortunately, Paige on another port. Oh! My That's god! Unfortunate. Oh my god! I can't catch a break! Well, due to the darkness, all these guys are rolling at disadvantage, because they have to react to that. Oh, oh good. Good. Yeah, Still rolling. rolls a fucking twenty. Oh, wait. <laughs> the dice, uh, we did something to the dice gods. They they are hating us at the moment. Oh, it doesn't automatically roll at an advantage for that kind of uh, stat block. I have to roll it all manually. Oh man. I'll be happy if I'm faster than one guy. I, I was searching for it on Google, but I did not find it. So, uh, yeah, currently Paige is having tea with a hag. Well, I don't need to roll that one again. Congratulations, Spoon. You're faster than one of them. It literally took him rolling in that one. Oh, my God. They have a... If they have a two, yeah, if they roll a two, they match you. Oh my god. <laughs> Why can't I just be fast? Why can't I do that? So the only way I get to go faster than somebody is if they I roll a one, huh? Yeah. Ooh, you match with that one. Did that one get rolled yet? No. This is really not good. I don't think it could be any worse than it is at this very moment. You don't know that. I don't don't say that. Ooh, that one actually looked good. All right, let's get that in proper order. As expected, Woots and Krell are going first, followed by a lot of people, then Spoon, and then one more guy. Oh, man. It took me forever to do the darkness cloud. What am I going to do now? Something... Incredibly clever.
Don't enemies just have natural disadvantage on you to you to hit if you're in shadow? Yeah, What's that? Don't enemies just have a natural disadvantage to hit you when you're in shadow? I don't think so. I just think in darkness they can't see me, but I can't see them either, so we're just hitting each other with disadvantage. Pretty much. Oh. Well, you're in even... shadow mode. Don't you become invisible in darkness? Yeah, I don't think I'm not high enough level. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um... Well, hell, okay, um... It, does Krill look like she's about to ready to throw down, or... Can I just delay my turn after Krill? Uh, yeah, you can hold an action. Okay. Yeah, I'll hold my action, or just until I decide what after Krill's gonna do. But she's the one I can see, and more or less, and she seems like she's eager to do something. I'll follow her lead. Krill's always eager for a throw down. <laughs> Even one where we're... It's literally I mean, part of her character. Yeah. <laughs> that is her flaw. So Even spoon. if she's outnumbered, she'll still run into a fight. Well, Spoon's, Spoon's flaw is he's like, he's always going to crack jokes. But I mean, I just kind of made him the guy who's always ready to scrap. Uh, I always have the old ace up my sleeve. <laughs> Rocks follow everyone dies. <laughs> no, I mean Krell's ace up her sleeve. Oh. I know it's really hard to find a, some sort of art of a lost wizard. Because you, you use your last spell slot to heal yourself, right? Last third level. She still has oh, okay. uh, four second and four first. Oh, okay. That's that's a bit that's a bit less uh, worrying then. But she also has a whole other character sheet. Hmm. <laughs> that uh, that can cast up to ninth level spells. And that also has true sight. <laughs> Interesting. Here I was, ready to, to die for the cause. <laughs> no, we will live. <laughs> I will Might make it happen. happen. Frankly, it depends on how things go. Okay, that doesn't help me at all. Okay, I found nothing, but it would be hilarious if more years passed on the the Feywild and pages came back looking like this. Ooh, oh, I get it. Ah, yes. The hurricane coming. Probably not going to affect me that much, because I live in the actual middle of Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more worried about uh, Miami and Haiti and Puerto Rico. Uh, hurricanes happen uh, usually a lot there. Yeah, Haiti has been like devastated by them for so long. I, I meant the USA in general. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, I mean, we don't, you know, mostly it's mostly the coastal places, but like. Uh, Florida usually catches the brunt of it. But if you want to talk about tornado, hometown gets a lot of those. Alright, I think this is going to be the best course of action. Krell is going to hand over control to Loki, burning her inspiration. Okay. Uh oh. That token on the board. Might be the best option, uh, yes. When an option, Maybe. summon God. 
without him options? Oh my god, that is true. And uh, for his first trick, Mirror Image <laughs> creates three duplicate copies of himself. Oh goodness. All surrounding Woots as best as possible. Of course, I don't see this. I'm like, I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> she's going ham. Well, I mean, you can hear the verbal the verbal component of the spell, and hear that it's not Krell's voice anymore. But now it is uh, infinitely harder to get a hit in for the enemies who that can't see. All right, Woots had held action until Krell acted. Yeah. I know. Part of me wants to run, but I want to at least get Spoon up there first so that he can dive into this mess. And I'm going to throw... Two, um... Two darts at the guy that I, let, I remember that was closest, so it was either this guy or this guy. Really Hard range. Um, I'll go the one behind me because I don't need any sneak or yeah. like people coming up behind me. And so I know this is at dis yeah. disadvantage, right? Um, you knew where he was before you threw up darkness. He hasn't had an action to move, so it could be assumed he's still there. Okay. So, so this is normal. Flat roll. Flat roll, okay. Switch that back to normal. Uh, two darts coming your way. Ooh. Ooh. It's a nat one. Hopefully that doesn't go what too happens? horribly. Hey, moment. I accidentally strike a Loki. You could attempt to strike a Loki. I don't want to, but... <laughs> There's a possibility on the table. Yeah. A duplicate's AC is equal to 10 plus Loki's dex mod. So, yeah, it's kind of possible. Uh, let's see. Throw range. Give me a con save. Strength score plus five. Yep, you pass. Whoa. Really, a eight? <laughs> the DC is strength score plus five. Which. Unless I'm reading your character sheet. Remembering your character sheet wrong. Your strength no, score strength is zero. Score is... Yeah. <laughs> so, you needed a five to pass. <laughs> oh, thank gosh. I thought you meant the actual ten part. So I was like, oh shit, yeah, that doesn't make it false. Oh. Yeah, I meant to say strength mod plus. Okay. So, so yeah, you are good. <laughs> Does that 14 make it or no? Uh, 14... 14 hits. Okay, can I at least add some sneak attack on top, top of that? Yep. It had no way of oh. knowing that was coming, so I am going to allow sneak attack despite the lack of advantage. Uh, only it's one okay. point, but... Every point well, matters. I... Yep. That sneak attack happens to any ranged weapon, too. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. It yeah, it's normal, you just have to have advantage. But, obviously, I since I can't see you, I can impose a false advantage. Because I had no way of knowing that was coming. Yeah, if that I makes know, any I type of sense to anybody. Based entirely on ranged, uh, ranged sneak attack. <laughs> oh, alright. Time for a lot of attacks at disadvantage. Okay. Oh, That's not hitting anything. That's not hitting anything. Uh, 
That's a nat one. <laughs> oh man. Might as well just keep the fucking nat one chart out. <laughs> These guys are just constantly rolling at disadvantage for 10 minutes. Yeah, assuming they don't move. Well, I mean, even if they moved in closer, they're still in the darkness. It's still a disadvantage. Oh, that's true. Even if they're out of it. Oh. You can't see into it, so. A two. Well, congratulations. That man just managed to break his crossbow. Let's go. More disadvantage crossbow bolts. Oh, rolled out of a net oh, that 20. Was Where did I put it? Unfortunately, that will not hit Loki. It's okay. Let's go. <sighs> Using my body as a shield to protect Woots was definitely idea number one. <laughs> More bolts. Hopefully, they don't think to look into the pit and shoot at the guy yes. currently sprinting up the wall. They don't know about your existence. And they're more worried about the people that are up here doing damage. But yeah, that's a mess. Also a mess. This man's gonna have to run up because he doesn't have range. So a mess. <laughs> As if anyone is shocked. And spoon. Oh baby. Yeah. So you are close enough to the top to make the move you mentioned previously. Yeah. To grab this guy's foot and just drag him into the pit. What would that yep. constitute? An action or? Uh, I'd call it a grapple check as an a as an attack action. All right. So that'd be one of my attacks. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright. Grapple is what? Athletics? Or acrobatics? Uh, yes. Cool. Or you can roll it a straight strength if that favors you. Uh, 25. Um, well, with his modifier, he could not possibly beat that. Except with a nat 20. <laughs> Except it's not a skill check. It's an attack. <laughs> Oh, that's true. <laughs> Ooh, sucks to be that guy. Because he's got to make a skill check to get out of your attack. <laughs> There's the Matt 20 yeah. on a skill check. So yeah, so you just, just grab him by the ankle and just fucking down. yeet him into the hole. You just hear him yelling out. It's just a quick yelp as you initially grab him and yank him. Using the leverage of pulling him down to pull yourself up onto the cliff face. And you just hear him screaming the whole way down in Undercom and just yelling all types of profanity before just a few moments later hitting the ground with impunity. So, Should have uh, been looking out, idiot. Did you guys not get a list of how many people you were up against? <laughs> Step forward. Uh, I think it would have helped. Uh, what weapons do I have? I've got my Dragon Slayer and my Dancing Sword. So, with my bonus action, I'm gonna toss up uh, Chisel, say the command word. He is ready to go. And then I'm gonna attack this boy with my uh, Dragon Slayer. Does a 27 hit? Yeah, one second. <laughs> Yes, it does hit. <laughs> but I need oh, to make your sword again. Ah, uh, look at it. Uh, he takes... 17 damage. <laughs> Do I have any superiority dice left? Probably. I have four. I have four. <laughs> I just had a horrible idea. Yeah, so you just show up, yeet one man off a cliff, take out a quarter of this guy's health in one hit. 
So... Hold on. Oh, so, if I... If I trip him, what are the odds he falls into the pit? I'd say about one in eight. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna use trip attack to deal an extra D8, and he has to roll a strength save. Oh, DC uh, 16. Oh, plus zero strength. 14. Uh, he fails. What? Yeah, he fails, so he, he falls over. So he's taking an extra four. Extra four damage. Let's roll a D8. Let's see him fall in that hole. Oh! <laughs> so yeah, Ooh! you basically just sweep the leg and in one motion just grab his collar and send him after his colleague. See ya! <laughs> What's up? What the fuck is up right now? I oh, am crazy. Remember when this was a losing battle like, I don't know, 10 minutes ago? <laughs> I mean, considerably... It might still be. Yeah, Woots and Krell Loki have uh, created like the ultimate defensive perimeter, and Spoon just rocks up and kills two people in the split second. Spoon is the ultimate offense. <laughs> Beige is probably, I don't know, having tea with a hag. <laughs> a night hag. I wonder how they're doing. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, fine, sweetie. Here, why don't you have another cookie? It's poisoned. <laughs> the fact that he could come back at any time and just chooses not to. <laughs> so, that's an important question. If I choose to, to run over there on the next turn, would I be considered in the darkness or not? Uh, anything contained within the circle is within the darkness. Okay, cool. Good to know. You do still have 20 feet of movement. Oh, I sure do. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fucking rock up on this guy. I can't do I, anything to him, but goddamn, am I there? Oh, my yeah. sword's gonna come with me you as can, well. Yeah, you can definitely. I can't control it. Yeah, because it doesn't exist as a token. I did not know I could just go back. Yeah, you you literally have banishment. You have slots Every to cast banishment. Every yeah. Uh, <laughs> that... Pedro will probably cast banishment on himself the moment he sees himself in the Feywilds. <laughs> Using a fifth level spell slot because that's all I have. <laughs> it gets you back, but since time is measured differently in the Feywild, it is going to be a minute before you get back here. Not literally, of course. Oh. Yeah, that's my turn. I, I, I use my movement, both my attack, and my bonus action. <laughs> it's a brutal efficiency. What can I say? Like, these men have quite the health pool. You just ended two of them in an instant. Alright, Woots. Drive. Um, okay. I'm gonna assume they move because I can't see them. I think, like, in a, like, kind of like in a scratchy, high-pitched, like, metal voice, I think I'm gonna speak in Undercommon that, um, these are you will meet your death! Kind of like in a high pitch, like, you know, like a real scratchy metallic sound, like something that's like, oh, what the fuck was that kind of thing? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, and I, yeah, I'm gonna scream that, like, screech that really loud, but I'm also gonna use that, they, like, I'm specifically listening to see if, like, this guy or this guy responds, or, or at least somewhere I know where they can, like, I can narrow down where they are. Uh, yeah, you do hear um, the uh, few nearest guys to us, specifically the ones within about 30 feet, that they, uh, they, like, shuffle around a bit, their armor moving against each other, uh, re-steadying their weapons in their hand, but you get a good, uh, radar on where they most likely are. Okay, I was more ex expecting a reply, but okay, well, keeping. I, well, I think Krill's still next to me, even though she's Loki form, so I want to stay in the dark circle, but I don't want to move its radius. So. Well, it is centered on the dagger, and dropping an item is a free action. Yeah, but I want to keep that dagger close to me just in case. Nah, well, 
I think she'll still be in there if I move. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna bring the dagger with me. And I'm just gonna move towards this fella in front of this guy, so the circle kind of shifts. I think Loki slash Krill will still be in it. If I move, yep. like, a few They're feet. They're all still in it. Oh. Okay, cool. I just heard a noise, so I'm attacking blindly. Get to that part. Disadvantage. Well, you're right on top of him now, so... Yep. They were warned, and will I hit? Who knows? Two hits. If it ever pops up, what the hell? Oh, there, there they go. go. Um, Whoop. yep, both of those hit. Excellent. I think that's all I hit. No, I got a bonus action. I'm gonna monk unarmed strike. Thirteen will hit. Ooh, you can just uh, thirteen will not. Okay. And then if I was to actually, back... you were rolling that as a you were still rolling that as a disadvantaged. You aren't disadvantaged. Your normal roll, so it would have been the twenty-two. So that does hit. Uh, oh, okay, <laughs> cool. All right, I can work with this. Um. Hell yeah, free shit. Yeah, and then like, okay, if I was like to move back slightly a bit. Do they take an opportunity attack? But since they can't see me, they, they can't. Um. Yeah, I don't think they'd be able to detect you moving back away from. You are basically one with the shadow, so. Excellent. I'll take a few steps back to keep them confused. I think that's actually so... one of your abilities. If you move back in shadow, you don't take advantage. You don't take uh, opportunity attacks. Don't quote mm -hmm. me on that. I'm not great at Shadow Monk. <laughs> but, I don't know. I'll have to admit. I'm not sure if I'm high. I think that is, but higher abilities. But I just know Shadow can, stuff. You can I can check get. real fast on the 5e tools. Yeah. I All just right. know, like, with Darkness, everyone has their specific rules. So. Yeah. Either way, yeah, so I'll allow it. So. There we go. Yeah. Fair enough. There you go. That's all you need. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's my right. turn. Alright. Uh, what to do, what to do, what to do? Wait, did, did Satoshi not go into combat? He did not. That's weird. He's still just sitting there, kneeling. Menacingly. I'm gonna rock the fuck up on this guy. Oh, you are within my... You are within my range. <laughs> Bro, you're in this. <laughs> You're within Star Platinum range. <laughs> oh, I don't right. have an inspiration to rock up and fuck him up with, but man, it would be funny if I did. Alright, Loki's gonna raise his hand in the general direction of this fool down here. And, uh, we're gonna burn a 6th level spell slot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, second level or higher. Okay, so we don't. So three plus four. So seven magic missiles are getting needed at this boy. <laughs> I, I felt actually sick when you said that. What is the ring? 120 feet, creature you could see. And with Loki's true sight, I could see anybody within 120 feet. <laughs> Alright, so 6, 10, 15, 20, 23, 29, 35 points damage. Half that man's health with a second level spell. 
just upcasted enormously. And you can still make an extra attack because he has that ability. Woo! So this particular Wookiee is going to move up to this boy. Wait, can each mirror image do its own thing? Yeah, they are a separate, but when you attack one, there's a uh, percentage chance of it's, if it's the real one or not, regardless of which one is in which place. So basically, I could shift between the different ones until they roll a hitting strike. But uh, we're going to stab this man with Loki's spear. That's a 21 to hit. I think you're rolling to yourself. Am I? Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> Didn't realize that it wasn't. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, roll the 21 to hit. And you know what? How does that work again? Great question to ask. That's always a good question to be asking. Because it means good things are about to This is... <laughs> oh, that's not how I was gonna... Oh, that's right. Ready, die. No, we're just, we're just, we're just on the offensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I have to change that. Because those are no longer accurate. All right, and Loki's gonna pull a spoon. Yeah. <laughs> a spoon. In what regard? Loki's pulling this. That could mean so many things. All right, gonna burn a fifth level spell slot to uh, oh, make this a divine smite. <laughs> Uh, and that also rolled that wrong. <laughs> because oh, that, since it burned a 5th level spell slot for the Divine Smite, it gets an extra 3d8. Doesn't it, it caps at some point, doesn't it? Uh, to a maximum of 6d8. Okay, cool. So I'm only rolling 5d8, <laughs> so we're well within the bounds. For a total of just making sure sixteen thirty-eight. We may not like it, but we put by the rules here. <laughs> Even when it's to our detriment. Exactly. That's the like going to the fucking Fey Wild. <laughs> that was your choice. <laughs> I was. I was going to another plane. Basically. I genuinely thought it was just going to be like a range, and you were going to send the th the three of you to the Feywild. <laughs> it was yeah. just going to be me. <laughs> you just pop out. Everyone's already gone. It's like the fuck, guys. Yeah. Well, all right. Guess we're doing all this. All right. That is the end of Krell Loki's turn, and Constitution save. Oof. Against Krell's constitution. And Loki remains in charge. It's the one time when rolling low saves you. Yeah. Oh. Except for all the other times where it does. Yeah. I can name off the top of my head. 
can I can don't ask me. Don't ask me the color of anything. <laughs> Thank God that was a disadvantage. Let's see if a Loki's gone. Oh, uh, they don't have like a they don't have any hit points, they're just they get hit and they're done. Well I have to uh, take that's... yeah, I have to enact the effect of mirror image. Oh I see. I see. Alright. I have to roll a D twenty. If you have three duplicates, you must roll a six or higher to change the attack target to a duplicate. On what? The d20 I just rolled. Oh, I rolled okay. a 19. So, the opposition obliterates one of the Loki clones. <laughs> Uh, it ignores all other. It is a duplicate can only be destroyed by an attack that hits it. It ignores all other damage and effects. Oh, uh, next guy who's well within the darkness. That's in that one. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> really, really fumbled that. Whoops. Six. Yes. So sweet business. <laughs> We're not rolling in the 10 to 12 range. For once. <laughs> uh, well, it's a different chart for ranged weapons that's oh, yeah. interesting now we get to roll to hit again wow so yeah he's just blindly aiming his crossbow in the dark no real idea where to aim and he shoots at this guy and hits him <laughs> <laughs> oh how tough it is to be uh, a bozo so I got spinned around. <laughs> yep. I wonder if it was the uh, stabs or the kick you gave him. I think it was the kick that finally did it. <laughs> Who really knows? Yeah, he has to make a constitution save. That one. Look at that. So Don't he takes the either. full 25 points of damage. <laughs> from his own ally. I said, the cool. Uh, remember when we were hopeless so, just, a, just a short while ago? Listen. I would say it was too hard. Because because I, they... was gonna, I was just ready to die for the cause. <laughs> Alright. This man's gonna try and stab Spoon twice. Good luck. I forgot to take that off disadvantage, so it's the 18 and the 22. Uh, the 18... The yeah, 18 misses, but the 20 But first things first. I'm gonna try and repost him on the first attack. Alright, because he missed. So I'm gonna repost. Uh, it's been a while since I saw Spoon repost something. <laughs> it's been a while since he had the opportunity, but yeah, that hits. Uh, so he's gonna take 14 damage, and on top of that, I'm gonna stack another superiority dice to trip him. So he needs to make a DC 16 strength save. Jeez. <laughs> nope. He for sure failed. Well, yeah. that D8, baby, fall in the hole. <laughs> He's standing right next to it. Uh, roll that damage for your trip. Oh, right, yeah. It's actually, I roll 2D8 because of the uh, repost as well. So he takes 11 more damage. Jeez. All right, where's my D8? Oh, baby. oh, sweet Christmas. <laughs> Does he fall in? Yeah, the man goes to attack you with his short swords just for you to knock his attack away with your great sword. And then on the back swing, you just trip him in. That's three people you've killed by throwing into a chasm. 
If that didn't work, I was gonna try and intimidate him into just staying there. <laughs> My god. This is not how I saw this <laughs> encounter going. Like at all. Same here, man. <laughs> Uh, I would say we are still in danger because Hasashi hasn't moved a finger. Yeah. I thought, where do you think I'm going on my next turn? Right. I'm gonna walk up on that man and scrap. He's gonna attempt we to have... make a low cross, like crossbow attack at point blank range, not realizing it, and completely miss. I'll be right back. Right. I have six assassins and a missing wizard. Ah, uh, that's a miss. And that's a miss. Oh, that guy's dead. He didn't get a turn. But that guy does, so he misses. <sighs> Alright, I'm back. Let's cool. See. It's your turn. Uh, how much movement does this have? Thirty feet. Okay, sucks. That's fine. Uh, so yeah, ammo at the moment. Sprint over here. Uh, I'm gonna use my action to dash, and my sword is gonna move uh thirty feet. So it's gonna go like there. You're just and I'm gonna just like. What can I what can I do to this guy with a bonus action? Not a whole lot. <laughs> Not a whole lot. What what can that's a that's an action. Him. Uh, <laughs> I don't have any spell slots left to bonus action with. Uh, uh, and I don't have an offhand attack, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna like put my hand on his shoulder and be like, get up. <laughs> Now. All right. With that he will be rolled into initiative. I think his piss you just dirty his orbs with blood. <laughs> and he goes blood. just barely faster than Spoon. Uh. I don't have a lot I can do to him aside from just kind of gang up on him with a magic sword. That's 30 feet of okay. <laughs> But uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a weird ass. But I don't think anyone else has their uh, their inspiration, right? I think everyone used it. Uh, Woots burned his, Paige gave his the Woots, Krill used hers to call Loki. Yeah, that's what I figured. Alright, so I'm not throwing any hands, but, uh... Alright. It would have felt really good. I guess we... in, it looks like he's doing it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm stepping forward back to this fella. Right. And I can tell he's still there in panic, so I'm gonna take two strikes at him. All right. Uh, the twenty-three hits. Okay. So he takes eight points damage, and, and you I'm definitely know he's in. still there. Yep, and I'll come in with that monk on arm strike. Let's get a kick in there. 24 Yay! also hits Dude. for another 5. They can't see you coming, so you get sneak attack, right? No, because it's rolled normal, because she can't see you. Oh, I see, I see. Makes yeah. Sense. Yeah, I finally figured out that invisible question. Yeah, that's when I'm a, uh, 11, monk yeah. level, monk level 11. Almost. Alright. I didn't, yeah, I actually didn't know what your monk level was, so I was just kind of, like, looking blindly, like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm eight to two when with rogue. <laughs> I'm, I'm seven four, fighter to paladin. You know what? It might seem a little old fashioned, but uh, Crow gonna pull a spoon again. 
I to fucking shove this guy into the pit. Oh, that was a strength save. That's not what I wanted. I wanted an athletics. It's an, it's an insta kill tactic that works. Ugh. Ugh. That's, Wait, so that's, that's still gross. Paladin? What? Did Spoon just say he's a 7th fighter and a 4th paladin? Yeah, 7th seven, seven fighter, 4th paladin. Well, didn't that make and you 11th level? That, I got up in level in the Coliseum because I was the only person who fought, if you'll if oh, you yeah. recall. When we were still doing uh, XP and not... Uh... Yeah, but then we all got level balanced. Yeah. Wait, that's... Oh, shit. I might have fucked up somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It won't matter for long. You're literally fighting a boss. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh... Whoops. Whoops! That's a, that's a bit of a whoopsie on, on my part. So, uh, even though Loki rolled really shit on that athletics check... He rolled worse! <laughs> He rolled worse. <laughs> so, uh. Prone to getting thrown into it. They picked the worst possible place to do this. As per the show special action, he is pushed back 10 feet and is prone. See you later. Hundreds of feet down the bottom of the chasm. You know the worst part of the fall is long enough to, that, for him to think about so See? It's not the fall that kills you, it's when you suddenly stop falling. The worst part is that they have time to think before falling, so yeah, they're they get, like... Yeah, they got they've like... Got, they've got plenty of time to think. Yeah, they've got like a dozen rounds worth of time to contemplate their life choices before they're a pancake. Whoops. But uh, as we and move into... Kind of the falling kind of together, they will just hear their friends on the bottom like, ah! Ugh, or splash! And as we move into the remainder of the uh, assassins' uh, turns, that is where we shall end the session.